Hello, all you uh, kebabs and, and bobettes out there. It's Bob and Rissa here <laughs> again. And if y'all didn't watch the last video... Uh, Which was a while ago. Uh, yeah, about the gender. Y'all are now, those of you who watch us, you are now called kebabs and bobettes. And you can thank her mom for, for that nickname. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know it's been a minute since February, uh, and it's May now, three months have gone by. And as you can see, we are still pregnant. What was that? The first week of May. Uh, that Wednesday, she turned seven months. So yeah, 29 weeks right now. Baby boy is just kicking and moving and grooving. My last doctor's appointment, I had an ultrasound and he was two pounds, 12 ounces. I know I have been super excited and Bob has also been excited because obviously now we feel him moving around and stuff. We didn't get to do all that with Anaya because my placenta was in the front and blah, blah, blah. So this time we've been able to like really enjoy seeing him move around in my belly and like feeling him move around and all that. Good and stuff. this boy responds to his daddy. Let me tell y'all, even this morning, he wasn't moving at all. And I was just was like, hey, what's up, buddy? What's up, big man? Talking to him through the belly. And next thing you know, I feel this look uh, like, here I am, daddy. I'm right here. Like, I hear you. So it, it's definitely exciting to be able to, like, see him move or, uh, you know, just feel him move and then see him actually, like, respond. I mean, I don't know if he really responded to our voice, but that's what we're going to call it. <laughs> because when he wasn't moving until I said something, he started moving. So He'll be moving around, and then as soon as I pull the camera out, he just stops moving. Then as soon as I put the camera back down, he go back to moving just like how he was. It literally happens every single time. Yeah. So he clearly knows when the camera is on him and he does not like it. This past weekend, I got like two shirts. One that says, something about being the most handsome man in the world. And then something about, oh, this is all muscle or something. And I, honestly, that's like the only two things that I've bought for this boy so far. And I think Carissa hasn't really spent much money at all. Like everything that we have, our family, like our friends, our family from church, like... Uh, just so many people have been blessing us, man. Uh, just giving us things like freak, like what? Uh, like the play yard. We got the little swing. We actually have a couple swings. We have like a bouncer. We have a couple bassinets at this point. It's all just been given to us. And then most of the furniture in here, well, we bought the dressers and stuff, but like the crib, my mom bought, and then the rocking chair, my dad bought. It's amazing to see, like, how many people are so happy for us. Uh, it makes us feel good, and we just want to make sure that we continue to, you know, reciprocate that and, and show that same love to others at the same time. Um, because, like, God has, God has just really uh, done a number with us, and we're just so grateful for that. Even with the nail, people, like, started giving us a lot of stuff. So we had a lot of girly things that obviously now we couldn't use anymore because we have this little bean growing. But then there's like other people that we knew that were pregnant with girls. So we were able to like give them all of the stuff that we had that we weren't going to be able to use and be a blessing to them because like whole travel systems are expensive. Babies are expensive mm -hmm. in general. So get in whatever you can get for free from somebody else, especially if it's brand new, it's just like a huge blessing. So I was really happy that we were able to like give travel systems and like clothes and stuff like that away to other people who would need it so that they wouldn't have to spend money on that stuff either. Yeah, that's cool too, like the timing, because now like two of my cousins are having a baby. Uh, one of my cousins, uh, she's going to have a baby girl in June. And then my other cousin, he's going to have his son in September. So it's like June, July, September. And then he already has two cousins uh, that were both born in July. So, you know, it's going to be three people born, born in July, you know, his cousins, but then he also is going to have, like, you know, some family to grow up with, some little cousins to grow up with, just like, because we, she grew up close with her cousins and her family and stuff, and I also did the same thing. So it's just cool to know he's going to have that same, you know, that same experience with your cousins and stuff, too. God is just crazy. It, it, like, <laughs> it's just crazy because you read about in Scripture about, you know, waiting on the Lord, those that wait on the Lord, you know, your, your strength is going to be renewed, and you know, his peace, you know, all those things we have experienced. We have experienced and went through over this past year uh, just with this baby. And, you know, his word is so true. Um, and just being able to being able to to keep the faith 
you know, through that entire process when we, when we found out about Anaya. Um, but just seeing how he has restored us and how, he's, how he has restored our family. Like, we go, you're going to go through those trials. You're going to go through those tribulations. But we got to count it as joy as the word says, because that hope is knowing that, that God is going to fulfill his promises for you, that he has for you. And holding on to that has just carried us through a lot. There's so many people who go through uh, miscarriages. There's so many people who experience this that don't speak on it. Like, this is a very common thing that I didn't know was very common. I didn't know it was this common. And, like, just know, like, if you're watching this and you've been through this and you have gone through this, just don't give up hope in God. Keep your faith and hold on to his hand. And then his timing is going to happen for you guys just as it happened for us. I just want to just encourage y'all just to keep your faith in him and him alone because there's nobody but him that was able to make this thing possible for us. Uh, no other person, uh, no other whatever, the, no other stars align with all, any of that, none of that stuff. Like this is just all God's doing in our life. And we was just happy to, you know, come and share with y'all, uh, you know, just what he's done and how we've been, you know, since the last time we told y'all that we were pregnant. Like, you don't go through the things that you go through for no reason. We went through that, and, of course, in the moment, it's probably hard to understand why. Like, even now, I don't really understand, like, the full why. But I know that now when I am thinking, like, dang, I'm, like, really freaking out or something. Like, we about to have a whole little human being to take care of. I can reflect back on that and be like, if God got me through that situation, I know that he gonna be able to get me through whatever other situations is gonna come my way, cause obviously things are still gonna continue to happen. Like I'm still living in a sinful world. So I expect stuff to come up that is gonna kind of try to knock me off my game or whatever. But because I've already gone through that traumatic situation and like God brought me through it, he brought us through it. I know that he will continue to do the same thing through every situation that we face. Obviously it sucked what happened, but now I'm able to use that to, like, continue to strengthen me and push me forward. Yeah. I think there was something else that I wanted to share. But I don't, I don't remember. But, um, I don't know. I think that's enough. We don't want this video to be too, too long. But we didn't even talk about the room. Oh. I mean, I thought we were going to do, like, a voiceover. Yeah, but. Oh. All right, so in the room, because that's why we're here to talk about the room. In the room, this was all inspired by this man right here and her little searches and stuff and feeling like what she wanted to do and feeling like, you know, the vision that she had for it. Um, and, of course, I just had to do the handiwork. You know, my dad helped me come paint the room. Uh, but other than that, um, you know, this is our, this was just her vision, and we kind of just put it together. Yeah, I wanted him to have a space of his own. I didn't want to put too much in the room, but I also wanted there to be enough for him to feel like, oh, wow, this is a cool room. And like, just a room he could grow up in and, like, we won't have to continue to do so much to it. My favorite part of the room is definitely his little book, Nook, which is what I'm going to call it, his book, Nook. I know that when I was growing up, I loved reading, and I just loved going to the library and getting new books, and I want him to have that same love of books and of course right now it just went crazy getting like bible stories and like baby bibles and things like that just because we want to make sure that this little boy grow up knowing who god is and that he's able to build a relationship with god just like we have a relationship with god so it was very important to me to make sure that he had those things from the second he gets here to the second he becomes an adult yeah talking to jesus that's that's the only thing that I would want to leave my kids with is to fall in love with Jesus. Because I know if, I know if they have Jesus in their life, then they'll be okay. Like because I can't do what Jesus can do. But I think I don't know what my favorite part of the room is. Like I like it all. It might be the nameplate, you know, just because you know B three. So you know, it might be the nameplate. Uh, but I don't know, man. I just. What about the dressers? I feel like you did a great job on the dressers. The, the dressers are cool. You know, they match the crib. They cool. I didn't say that's my favorite, but, you know. Bob put a lot of work into the dressers. He's being humble right now. But we had the crib, and getting the whole set would have been super expensive. So I found these dressers on Ikea. Bob painted them and stained them, and now they look like they came with the crib, and it's just so beautiful. I love it. For him to have his own, you know, his own space, and then just for me to, like, 
be in here sometimes with him just on the floor chilling, laying with him, you know, when he's doing all that little silly stuff. And hey, I don't know, man. I'm just excited and I just I just can't wait, you know. I just can't wait. But the room, I really do love the room. I like some of the things that we put on the wall. Uh, like the whole little man cave and the, the be strong in the Lord little man. Like I she did a really good job. I I like this room a lot. So and I hope that he likes it too, which I, I know he will. So we wanted to show you guys the room. We hope you like it. If you guys want to be a blessing to us and our little bean, I also put our registry in the description bar. And of course, I'll link the stuff in the room that we purchased. If you guys want to check it out, I'll put that in the description bar. Yeah, that's our little, what, 29 week update. Hopefully we are able to come back before this boy is actually here. But knowing us, I'm not gonna make any guarantees or any promises. We thank you guys for just sticking with us for this long and keeping up with us and just continuing to support us and love us and pray for us because it is always needed and we are so appreciative of all of you guys that just continue to be there for us. We love y'all. Jesus loves y'all. And we'll talk to y'all later, man. Kebabs and, and Bobettes. You know, we, we I know we hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know it's a little lengthy, but just bear with us, man. We love y'all. Thanks for y'all support and talk to y'all later.